Hi everybody, this is Congressman Mike Levin. I'm here in the city of Oceanside with one of the city engineers, Hamid. Now, where I am, you'll see, is cobblestone here on uh, what used to be a beautiful sandy beach. Two, three, four years ago, this was a beautiful sandy beach. But what's happened is unprecedented erosion in recent years has led uh, to this being the new normal. And there are other places right down the coast where you have what used to be uh, staircases to get down to the beach are now immersed, submerged in water. So for many uh, years, this has been an ongoing problem in the city of Oceanside, but exacerbated in recent years. We're going to do everything we can to try to fix it through what is called the Oceanside Special Shoreline Study. That's a partnership between the federal government and the city of Oceanside. And this has been ongoing for far too long, Hamid, and we've got to fix it, right? Absolutely. Uh, you couldn't be more right, Congressman. Uh, the problem has been in working uh, or making, I should say, for the last 80 years. It's mostly created by the boat harbor in Camp Pendleton area uh, the, um, about 80 years ago. And the Congress of the United States actually acknowledged the problem. This became a very important project going back to early 40s, and they directed the federal government to go and do something about it and fix it. Unfortunately, because of so many other reasons, this has not been paid attention to until very recently. And under your leadership, uh, there is money allocated for the Army Corps to do a study. We in the city are doing a study, and hopefully we work in the United States Army Corps of Engineers. We can develop a that's going to be not only sand retention, but sand replenishment. The ocean side is known for its beautiful coastlines and the oh, sandy yeah. beaches. And as you mentioned, now some of these access points that used to be the sandy beaches, now they are going into the ocean. Uh, so we are very excited about this. Uh, the uh, infrastructure bill also provides opportunity for the construction of the project. And we're looking, working, we're looking forward to working with you and your staff to get it done. Thank you, Hamid. Well, the infrastructure you see behind us is also at risk because of these uh, th this new normal, as we've been saying. And I'll just close by mentioning in the bipartisan infrastructure bill, there are hundreds of millions of dollars in new funding for Army Corps of Engineers projects, just like the Oceanside Special Shoreline Study and the other projects up and down our coastline. We'll be back with more videos. Thanks, everybody.